Hi there Aries, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your monthly intuitive reading for June. Aries, I hope you're really well. Let's see what may be on the cards for you for the month. Getting started with the Sacred Power reading cards, then be going to the Work Your Life Oracle. I will draw you a lead tarot energy from the Moon Child Tarot and then we will get out the tarot positions with the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot for our clarifiers. Just to let you know, Aries, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. All the links are below the video, including the link to my website. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm available for those and would love to read for you. Let's grab one of these. Okay, let's do this, Aries. First one out was Animal Kingdom. Few things with this one, um, of course, you know, your animal friends and pets may be of extra support to you this month. Maybe you're getting a new pet as well. But Animal Kingdom for me is about instincts. You know, animals don't really have that ego force that we have. That's the distinction between us. They're driven by their instincts. They're primal. So I'm asking you, Aries, how can you really be guided by your instincts? You know, it's that queen of wands energy. So we're going to try and lead by heart, instinct, and intuition rather than head and mind, which is an extra challenge for you, Aries, because you are ruled by the mind. Oh, what a perfect segue. Intuition. Yeah, absolutely. High priest, high priestess energy here lead with instinct and intuition it's going to be on fire for you Aries and you can trust it now if you want to know how to tune into your intuition a bit more we need to we need to kind of turn off that mind activity a bit it's where the meditation comes in or doing something you love because when you're in the flow state you know intuition can speak to us source can speak to us time and nature is a huge one for many people as well Stopping so much information from going in, less scrolling and watching and doing. When we just take time to be like the human being we are, our intuition can be heard more. And the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. You're crossing over into the new, maybe from a harder or more challenging time. But there's a sense of going into the unknown, we know it feels happier and brighter, but there can be that fear of like, what's waiting for us? I don't have everything figured out. Well, with this card here, Aries, it's about taking that step over the threshold, even though, you know, it's like a fool's journey, right? We don't really know, you know, what the destination is or where the winding road is, is leading because it's full of twists and turns, but we just know that we need to start walking it anyway. Let's get the lead tarot energy out. One card, please, to sum up the month for Aries as a tarot energy. One card, there it is. Do we have two or one? We've got two. We honor that. We've got the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. Breakthrough energy. King of Swords, oh, sorry, Pentacles is a Taurian energy for me. Um, okay, so the King of Pentacles can be about dealing in your area of home finance, security, abundance, that kind of thing. It, it can be a person as well that you're dealing with, generally somebody who has a more you know, authoritarian or dominant energy, a very masculine energy, doesn't have to be a male-bodied person or somebody who generally identifies more as a male. Um, so it could be somebody like a boss, mentor, manager, husband, father, father-in-law. Um, it's also about trust and commitment right so we're going to have to see how this plays out to see how the king of pentacles comes in but the ace of swords is about getting clarity a breakthrough an inspirational revelation and maybe that's going to come through your intuition the ace of swords can be okay what do i need to cut myself free from what boundaries do i need to put in place it can link to our communication too maybe a key conversation that you need to have with the king of pentacles that could be your boss or manager. Hey, I'm, I'm leaving that job. I'm crossing over the threshold and going out on my own. Leaving that relationship. Let's see what plays out, Aries. 
calling in the energy of the recent past energies leaving completing or transitioning if this is your reading the strength card leo and it has that link to the animal kingdom with the lion there right very interesting let's go for the challenge i've got the knight of pentacles and the star that's uh, virgo and aquarius energy for me well okay it's just jumping um the advice from spirit or tarot i've got the devil and the knight of wands it's time to put those those dark energies behind you i have got the world yes behind you why not just close the door because do you know what else you've got in your reading aries ace of wands two aces the star in the world could this be another power reading, Aries? You had a power reading this week. You love a good power reading. <laughs> I'm an Aries. I love a power reading anyway. Um, clarifying strength. The tower, Aries. Well, I don't know if it's resonating with you, Aries, but it does resonate for me. I had a bit of a challenging start to the year, but I'm feeling this energy here, I must say. Clarifying the star. Oh, the death card transformation it's a Scorpio energy guys so you've got the world the tower two aces the death card almost all major arcana and aces apart from that knight of wands which has the devil with it so this is huge this is they say that the oh my goodness guys I have got the world again called the universe in this deck um, so the amount of major arcana Aries the more major arcana the more significant the reading they stand for the big karmic themes in our lives and the minor arcana are kind of like the how and why that plays out six of wands victory oh aries i love it you are strongly being advised here by spirit to close the door on something I mean, we've got the tower here. Um, you've either already gone through like the, the really big kind of um, shakedown or the tower can be this huge revelation together with the Ace of Swords that's next to that. It could be this massive insight of, oh my goodness, I need to bring down a tower in my life. I kind of wasn't expecting to leave that job, leave that relationship, um, you know, move locations. You know, whatever it is, I feel like there's kind of been this big like aha moment of, yeah, I know what I need to do. And now it, it kind of needs to play out. Um, for others of you, you've gone through a tower and maybe it was initiated by yourself or even by some somebody else. And I feel like, um, you know, there hasn't really been much, much option but to start transitioning. But you might be um, holding on to it a little bit is what I'm seeing because with, you know, Death Card, Universe and World, it's like we haven't quite like creaked the door shut or maybe there was a little bit extra to play out before you know you, you, you kind of were ready to, to close the door so strength card and and the tower is you know having the strength courage and determination to weather the storm that's been upon you we have to keep in mind Aries that the tower has levels to it um, but it is actually a card of alignment you know some some say it's an act of love and grace from the universe because it's here to remove from your life what wasn't meant for you to clear the space for the new like for these passionate opportunities these aces that are coming in it says that whatever you're transitioning from you know there was a sense of instability about it anyway and really you know it was only kind of one lightning bolt away from from coming down um yeah there could have been like this this massive communication as well where it's just like you know all of a sudden it's like well I'm leaving you know and it just came out and maybe you even surprised yourself um strength card card of Leo might have been dealing with a Leo but ultimately this is about bringing that ego under control so you can um, be led by your intuition and instincts and higher self and it's also a card of potential that you know you are really stepping into your potential areas and you're stronger than what you think you are to go through this even if it feels like you're standing in the rubble at the moment maybe you know you've lost your home or something like that it's like you will rebuild from this um challenge position knight of pentacles the star and the death card so 
probably the first one in this is the death card and it's in the challenge position so the challenge has been letting it go whatever it is general reading you have to relate it to a situation Aries but yeah I mean holding on is what I'm feeling and you know not allowing it to not allowing it to release which is why we've got this it's like the creaking of the door the door didn't just slam it is creaking closed and maybe you're just making it a little bit more difficult on yourself Aries by hanging in there the death card asks us to surrender to what is and allow it to transform our lives right and allow it to to bring in the new and allow that new season to start for yourself um yeah of course there's going to be it's going to be vulnerability there's going to be healing that needs to, to happen and there's going to be emotional processing but with the star like what you don't know because this is sometimes my subconscious um un you know my unknown position is that you're actually moving closer to victory and to your hopes dreams and wishes it's time to ground yourself and um you know really keep in mind that you're now planting the seeds of the future, Knight of Pentacles. This is the rebuild, but it is a, a slow rebuild with the Knight of Pentacles. So like step by step, you know, you're going to plant some new seeds out of the foundation that the, the tower kind of left you with an empty field, let's say. And you're getting, given this opportunity to recreate your life and plant new seeds for it. But we have to keep in mind that they don't always just grow immediately and that there can be, um, you know, a time where we, we are feeling a little bit lost, right? It's not all love and light. We, we go into the darkness before we go into the light a lot of the time. So there could be that feeling at the moment. That's kind of represented in this card, right? Walking through the dark, ominous chamber to, to in order to get to the light source. So Knight of Pentacles is about... Maybe getting a plan in place and starting to take practical action steps for transforming your life. The advice from Spirit or Tarot, the Devil, Knight of Wands, Universe. Whatever you've left behind, it might be a job, a toxic job, a codependency, you know, partner that wasn't the best for you, even though you might have had deep love for them. Um, I feel like they haven't gone down without a fight and they have maybe attempted to either entice you back in um they might have been kind of really putting their best case forward or if it's a job they could have been offering you a bit more money you know a bit more a bit more uh, you know dangling the carrot extending the illusion and the cards are saying that it's time to move on to your next frontier knight of wands get on that horse and get out of there right we're not going back around for another cycle because it's only going to further uh entrap you yeah so and over time these situations like that that you know we're just over it anyway they kind of um they suck the life out of us that's why the devil has the bat wings right it's like it's a blood sucking kind of energy it's it's draining your energy over time instead you know the universe it is time to complete the cycle right really really overdue time to shut the door on this situation and move ahead to your passions purpose and desires like you're on a quest to find this ace of Ace of Wands, uh, let's grab these cards because they're, they're kind of saying the same thing here. Um, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the world. So your victory is in basically closing the door for good on this situation and moving through into the new cycle. You've learned the karmic lesson or you've gotten what you've needed to out of that situation. So there's no point in going back around for another cycle. Like You can if you want. You have free will. But you might lose out on other opportunities or, or waste time. Or, you know, like further go down in terms of your energy and, and health and resources as well. But these are both cards of victory. And they both talk about coming out of the... Whoops coming out of the darker time and into the light and into the new and really holding a, a new sense of um you know confidence and self-esteem and and all of that so that's that's kind of the, the gist of it and and then we've got the ace of wands here at the end so it's like there is a new opportunity or a new offer right behind this one but this time it's something that you're really passionate about you're really connected to that's really on purpose for you. 
So don't be worried, like, you know, I don't think it's going to be long before the next thing lines up for you, but it's going to be in its infancy and we're going to have to invest in it and engage with it and, and take the right steps in order to, to grow and expand it. And just keeping in mind that what you are leaving behind could have been something that you did actually manifest and wish for at some point. That's why it's so hard to leave behind. They could have been the perfect partner for you at that time. It could have been the perfect job for you at that time. But as a sense that you have, you great. I'm hearing you're graduating from that now, and you're ready for your next challenge. So it's time for you to embrace that. Um, you, you're kind of growing, and there's a sense of like um, spiritual maturing here as well. So Aries, you know what you need to do? The door's been creaking shut. It's time to give it the final push. Okay, Aries, well, I'm going to leave it there and um, wish you all the best if this is your reading. <sighs> it feels like a power reading. How many major arcana do we have? Should we have a count up, Aries, before we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two aces. I'm calling power reading on it, guys. Um, I really do wish you all the best with it. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I read them all. I do my best to interact with you all over there as my energy allows me to as well. And I absolutely love doing that. Um, helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Aries, go forth and conquer. Good luck. I'll see you back here throughout the month with plenty more readings. Bye for now.